Today I'm at Max Becker's farm up in Ojai, California. We're gonna take a look at how you make a walking cooler that's portable. And it's great, especially when you have an off-grid farm. Stay tuned for that coming up in this one. What I'm standing in front of right now is Max Becker's portable walk-in cooler. He made it using an old trailer that he purchased on Craigslist, some foam board insulation, a window air conditioner, and a CoolBot to control the air conditioner. If you've never heard of CoolBot technology, it's a really cool device. What you can do is you can hook your CoolBot up to a standard window box air conditioner to allow that air conditioner to run to cooler temperatures. It essentially tricks the air conditioner to getting the temperature lower and lower and it also stops the air conditioner from freezing up on the fins because it's cycling that air conditioner, not just having it run 24 seven, which would cause it to freeze. What Max needed to do is he needed a walk-in cooler for his produce. He couldn't have a walk-in on site at his farm because his farm is off grid. There's no power going to it. So he had a couple choices. You could build one out there, run a generator 24 seven, try and run enough solar, probably not gonna work. So what he decided to do was build a walk-in cooler here at his house and then just plug it in. So the AC just plugs into a standard 120 volt outlet and he can run it that way. So this walk-in stays parked in his driveway. He could hook it up and pull it to his farm if he needed or pull it to a different site. It's totally portable. You could run this off of a generator. The beauty of this is a lot of times on walk-in coolers, the expensive part is the shell, the casing. Sometimes you can get used walk-in coolers from restaurants that have gone out of business that have a good compressor or a bad compressor, take it out, put an AC in, put a cool bot in and use that. But if you don't have that option and you gotta buy a brand new commercial walk-in, they can be really expensive. So you can get creative and there's all sorts of ways and there's all sorts of ways that people do get creative to make these shells. One way is to use a trailer like this. Pretty simple construction. What Max has done, if we take a look up here at the front, is cut a square out for the window box air conditioner. That just sits in there. The trailer itself stays intact. It's already a, a structure that's gonna hold its own weight. Then if we look inside here, what he's done is he's insulated this to the max. What he has here is two inch foam, double layered all the way around with plywood protecting the foam either caulk or foam expansion sealant at every crack, anywhere where cold air can get out. And this is really important when you're building any sort of portable cool room like this or a standard cool room is to spend a lot on the insulation, get it right. One thing that John at CoolBots told me a lot is one thing people forget to insulate is down there, the floor. You gotta make sure you insulate the floor and all these because that's where a lot of heat can get lost is through the floor, people often forget that. Max was just telling me when he was building this, one thing he heard people say was, you're only gonna put insulation in it once, but you're gonna power this thing with electricity for years and years and years. So it's probably worth it to spend the money, put the extra insulation in and get it really nice up front, get it how you want it. So what you have here now is an eight foot deep trailer. It's probably about five feet wide, five feet high. And it's nice, he has a functioning walk-in cooler on wheels that he could pull around if he needs to, but if he doesn't need it to do it, it can just sit here, run off house power. And that's the beauty of a cool bot is you can plug it into a standard outlet using an AC, and that's gonna be a lot less expensive than running a compressor. The other nice thing about a cool bot in the fact that you're using an air conditioner, if you're using a compressor system, like on a standard walk-in cooler, if that thing ever breaks, you have to get a refrigerator repairman to come in and repair that. With a CoolBot based system, you don't have that worry. You just simply pull out the AC, go down to Walmart, Home Depot, wherever, get a brand new AC unit off the shelf and put it in. No expensive repairman required. Makes it really simple. The cool bot, you can't really see it in this one. It's way at the back and that's what's actually doing the cooling and controlling of that AC to manipulate the AC to make it work the way a refrigerator would. Keeping it cool and making sure that AC doesn't freeze up. A lot of people forget about a walk-in cooler when it comes time to buy infrastructure for the farm. Do you think you could survive without this? Um, well, I know we could survive because I know farms that are operating without them entirely. Um, but for us, we really value the quality in our greens. So we want them, we want them to be nice and cold. And you know, we, we don't want to just harvest the day before and leave it overnight and then, and then sell them the next day. We want to really chill them uh, to the point where they'll, they'll last for a week or two. We also want to be able to stagger our harvest throughout the week. You know, I want to be able to harvest on Tuesday and sell it on Saturday. 
And you know, we do that. We, we spread our harvest all throughout the week and we can do it because of this thing. I can also buy produce in on different days of the week. Um, I buy apples five cases at a time from this farm in Paso Robles and they go straight in here. If I was keeping them out, I'd have to sell them within the week. And here I can sell them over the course of a month and they're totally fine. Okay. I'll get this one that we didn't get on there. Why? So you had a choice. You could build this walk-in portable or fixed. Why portable? Uh, it really made the most sense for us because uh, we, we lease our house, we lease our farm, and we have no idea if we're going to move in a month, in a year, in five years, but whenever we do, we want to be able to take our infrastructure with us, and if it's got wheels on it, all the easier. In terms of the walk-in, how much did it cost? How long did it take to build? It took max about a little over a week to build this with some help from his brother. The cost itself was about $4,000, a little bit under that. That includes some labor, that includes all the material, that's the insulation, the foam, the trailer itself, the cool bot, the AC unit. Not bad when it comes to having something in the farm that's so critical. One common theme that comes up from almost every farmer that I talk to is one big selling point of this type of local veg is freshness of product. What you can do if you have really fresh product that lasts in a chef's walk-in for a long time is you can go to chefs and you can tell them, look, our product's not gonna go off in your fridge. When you get it, you're gonna be able to use every bit of it. There's not gonna be waste. It's not like some of that imported produce from places like here in California that they're getting on the East Coast that it's already going bad when the chef gets it. If you can keep your product cool on farm, then you can get it to the customer in a way that's gonna allow the customer to get the most out of that product, to not waste it and use as much of it as they can. Keeping that product at the right temperature, removing field heat are all critical things. Without a walk-in cooler, you're not gonna be able to do that. And CoolBot is one easily accessible piece of appropriate technology that's not that expensive that farmers can use to build a walk-in. Whether that's on wheels like Max, or whether you build a walk-in and frame it in a basement, or a barn, or a shed, or something else, consider using a cool bot. It's gonna save you a lot of electricity in the long run when you're running it, and it's gonna save you a lot in terms of saved repair costs should things ever break. If you're interested in learning more about this, I have a link down below where you can get a guide to building your own cool bot walk-in cooler designed by CoolBot themselves, and you can also get a discount code on a new cool bot right here below and you can support the work that I'm doing in the process if you buy that link. So if you want to save some money on a cool bot, check out that link below. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be nice, be thankful, and do the work.